Hello colors, welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to discuss on some interesting updates. We are going to go back to the game against Shakhtar and discuss on something interesting, players reaction after the game, which you don't want to miss out. We start with Mark and the again. We have to listen to what a frustrated Ter Stegen said after the game. Then again, talking about the reaction of players from Cancelo, Lewandowski, um, um, Oriol Romero, who also reacted after that poor performance. We are going to be looking on everything they said. So as we get right into it in much detail, please do ensure to subscribe. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Barcelona missed the opportunity to qualify for the round of 16 of the UEFA Champions League following a 1-0 defeat at the hands of Shakhtar Donetsk last night. The Catalan team, who had won each of their first three games of the Champions League, delivered a shocking display away from home. Significant alterations were made by Xavi to the starting eleven, and despite maintaining control of possession throughout the match, they encountered considerable difficulty against a resolute Shakhtar Donetsk defence. Speaking after the game, Barcelona goalkeeper Mark andre Ter Stegen expressed his frustrations after his side's second defeat in the last three games across all competitions, saying that everyone in the locker room is angry with themselves. He said, we are angry with ourselves because the result cannot happen to us, said the goalkeeper, as quoted by Mundo Deportivo. He continued to say they created a chance for us in the first half and we couldn't find the formula. We are left with a feeling of having lost a game that we had to win and to get into the next phase of the Champions League, he said. Of course, the veteran goalkeeper analysed that Barcelona's recent um, run of form is simply unacceptable, especially after the fact that Barca were the better team for most part of the game in each of those defeats, he said. We have had two games that are not good. In the Clasico, we played a good game onto the 60th minute then we went down a little and right now i can't tell you why we are going to analyze the whole situation in today's game we look forward before the break we have one more game and we will try to win it in the best way lastly he was also asked about ilkay gundogan's comments on the team's performance after the 2-1 defeat in el clasico and he simply did not entertain the question. He said, you have talked about this five times. I don't understand it. Great words there from our second choice captain, Mark andre Ter Stegen, who was frustrated after the game yesterday, of course, understandably. Um, it was a shame to see the way we played. And there's still a lot of, there's still a lot of room for improvement. Still huge room for improvement. Um, we have not even reached one quarter of the, the, the targets. Talking about the way we want our Barca to be. Despite Xavi coming out before that game in his press conference claiming that Barca are already halfway there. And look at the kind of performance that we put after what he said. There is still a long way to go. And many people are now doubting or asking Xavi or questioning Xavi's um, ability to carry this thing forward to bring back the old Barca. Many people, because we know how impatient some of these Barca fans are. But notwithstanding, let's just give time and see how it goes. Because except it reaches a point where we see that the team cannot even compete for any of the competitions, then definitely there must be actions that must be taken. There must be consequences, you know, that follow suit. So let's just keep fingers crossed. Yesterday's game was just a no-brainer. There was nothing nothing good about it i mean a game that was supposed to be won on paper it was highly predictable that Barca should win that game quite easily but we played as though we we're tired or the game was boring to be playing i mean it was just crazy and of course there is again 
um, emphasizing the fact that the team needs to improve and of course claim that everybody in the dressing room is angry with themselves. Yes, they should better be angry with themselves because their performance has been a disgrace. The performance have been making the coach to be always the scapegoat as football have always been like that. Whenever players play shitty performance, the coaches are the one to bear the consequences. So let's just see. We play against Alaves, I think Saturday before the international break. That is a game where we all expect Barca to go all out there to show that they have tried to address some of the problems they have been facing that have been a major loss for us. So against Alaves at home, definitely we need to go out there to bounce back, to get back to winning ways. Because as I said earlier, the international break is coming at a right time when I think Javi himself will be impressed that it is a very, very important and necessary pause to events. Because the way things are going, Barca needs to relax. I think this hiatus of international football will be a great one for Barcelona because if we, are, if we keep playing week in, week out, it's going to be a problem. Then on to the final story of discussion. Barca slumped to a 1-0 defeat at the hands of Shakhtar Donetsk on Tuesday in the UEFA Champions League. It was a shocking result for the Catalans, who were heading into the game on the back of three successive wins in Champions League group stages. Speaking to the press after the game, both Joao Cancelo, Ore Romero and Robert Lewandowski pointed out that Barcelona must improve and that the opposition were sturdy on the night. The sporting sensations are not good. We have been playing very poorly for two games, Cancelo said. Barca were coming on the back of a narrow 1-0 victory over Real Sociedad on the weekend. And after securing 9 points in Europe, a win against Shakhtar would have been enough to seal a spot in the knockout rounds, he said, we have left. We are left with a bad feeling of losing a match that would have saved to advance to the next round of Champions League against Real Sociedad. We did not deserve the victory, and today we did not play a good game to get those three points. A similar statement was echoed by midfielder Oriol Romero, who was starting for the first time for two matches. He said, it is a tough defeat. We wanted to win and secure qualification, but it was not to be. We have to concede fewer chances to the rival and attack better. Romeo spoke about Xavi making four substitutions in a goal in the second half. He said, I suppose that Xavi wanted a change of dynamics and attack to see if it worked. Lewandowski also offered his analysis of the game after the defeat. Today, you know, they played with great regularity. They scored a goal. They had another in the first half we are missing the last pass but also the path to these situations the Wondowski though is hopeful Barca can turn it around to the next game when Barca take on Alaves he said we have something to work on and we hope that on sun Sunday in the next game we will improve our game especially in attack it is a difficult moment for us but I hope we will overcome that soon it has been hard but I hope we will get back to normality quickly so guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.